What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. If you're new to the channel, I'm Darcy, that's Puddin, also known as Darcy's Little I Am, by the way. But we are a Florida fishing couple. I'm scratching my foot, <laughs> my foot itches. But we're out here in beautiful South Florida today, out of Stewart Inlet. We ran out about 10 miles, and we were first getting our, getting our lines out for the first time. We're sending out live baits and live wells. We got live pilchards and thread fins, and we're gonna set up a spread and do a little drift and see if we can catch some collegics. Yes, the little bumpy zone, trying to hold on. We came out about 10 miles on, what's this thing called? The hill. The hill. So, uh... First line is out. It is bumpy out here. A little splashy for this time of year, but hopefully that means there'll just be more fish. I'm gonna hook this guy. I'm gonna hook him through the back. Just like that. I'm gonna let him out on a little weight so he gets down. And we could be catching tunas or mahi out here. We don't know. It could be literally anything. We're gonna do a little drift, see what we can come across. If we don't come across anything, we're gonna make a move real fast. Yeah. How far is your bait down? That far, could be further. What? Not that far, could be further. What size weight do you have? What size are you using? Oh, I think mine's like a 10. Okay. All right, I'll send out mine further with a smaller weight. Okay. Just fed it to him. He just spit it. He's jumping out, air and out, air and out. Let him set the hook on himself. It's a circle hook and he just pulled it off the hook. Nice fish. All right, we just had a dolphin on, but he spit the hook. Oh no, you just spit the bait. Give me a bait, pilchard. Is there anything on here? He's gone. This is you slack. You try to hook him, there's more fish out there. You this gotta feed slack. it to him, you gotta feed it to him. I'll just go slack. I don't know, you might have the a The dolphin right there, real, he just remember the boat. Real, oh my God, real. Oh my God, look at all the fish. One here, just jumped right here. Here we go, here we go. This one's, this one's tight. Get him, I told baby. you. Get him, baby. <laughs> get him, baby. Watch him jumping over this line. Get, get nice the gap. Fish. Get the gap. Nice get the gap. fish. Okay, okay, okay. No, I think he's over here now. Okay. Keeping it tight, keeping it tight. Had a whole school of big fish. Yeah. Put the other bait out, man. Dang. Nice fish. Come up, come over here, come over here. Lift him. Here he comes. You're real close. I'm walking back. Nice. That's a nice fish. <laughs> yeah. Let me get line right back out. Get line back out. Nice job. Nice slammer. Woo! Broke the skunk off. All right, our sizzle. That was on a down line. I, I noticed it was slack. And so that means the fish was swimming up with it. So it was just crazy. Nice fish. Then I saw him swim, mahi drive run. past the boat. It's the time for Mahi. That's why we're out here looking for him. We had a huge school by the boat. Okay. Blooper. All right, there he is again, last time. <laughs> All right, debrief. That was crazy, Sizzle. That was not Craziness. Crazy. So we got four lines out, two on top on spinners, and uh, two down low with weights and just rubber bands on the weights around the line. And the Darcy had one on top. On one of the top baits and it just popped off and then I noticed this bottom line was slack which sounds well, sounds weird because there's a weight on there but that means the fish is swimming up and so I started I started reeling in and then the freaking fish I guess the weight fell off but the fish swam right by the engine he's like get the gaff <laughs> yeah, I'm like get the gaff <laughs> but we saw a bunch of other fish too so maybe we'll catch another one but we'll see we can't complain about that fish we're guessing he's like 10. yeah that's dinner right there that's enough we'll go home right now well, don't, don't do he's anything. Don't, don't do anything. He's eating it. He's eating it. He's eating it. He's eating it. It's going out. I just lowered the dragon tad. I don't know if you need to lower the dragon out. But... All right. Looks like we're going to have another fish. The drag was not that high, so. I think so. Drag not that high. No, it wasn't that high to begin with. If you dropped it down, it's really got nothing. There's something on here. All right, good. Stay hooked, baby. Stay hooked. Reel them in. I am. Could be a tuna. The current's going. The current's going this way. You know where we are on the ledge here? We're past the ledge by quite a bit. So the, the current's going this way, pretty strong, and the wind's going this way. So it's kind of balancing out, but we're going that way more than the other way. Saw a bunch of flyers. A ton of flyers. Scattered weed. I need you to take this weight off. Where is it? Coming up. Okay. Oh my gosh! Really? What? A bonita. It's okay, we'll take a bonita. A little black fin. All right, we'll take a little black fin. Just no, 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 no. Don't right. do that. Don't do that. No, He's no, too no. small flip for that. Him, flip 
Grab All him. Right. He's hooked weird by the jaw. Control your fish. You got to get him because he's hooked wrong. I can gaff him. He's bleeding out. Shoot. I'm about to lose this fish. I want to gaff him or not? Baby, you can't gaff that fish. He's too little. All right, here. See where he's hooked? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. All right, we got a fish in the boat. Side hook, little black fin. I can't believe he ate that big old bait down there. <laughs> That's wild. Should Take a little look? bit of sushi. Yeah, can't complain about that. Nice little butterball right there. Or a little football, you would call him. All right, is that a bite? I think that was just a bite. I'm not feeling much on here. Could be another little tuna. Could have missed it. My right, bait's probably gone now. He's on there. What? I think there's something on there. All right. I don't know. I have a lot of line out. <laughs> All right. Remember, we're gonna this, see. Is, this is the big weight. Way, way back, way, way back. Yeah, we're on. Good. You want to clear my flat or move it, or is it fine? Yeah, um, could be another small black fin. Wouldn't make. We were literally just talking about getting out of here. Well, like, should we go in? Should we go home? Fish on. We're, Fish on. Because we're going to the Keys, just let you guys know. And, uh, like, really soon, like, in the next couple of days, we don't really have time to play with all these fish. <laughs> we have to give them away really fast. Oh, it's acting like a nice tuna. We're using, we went down to 30 pound fluorocarbon leader because we got all the bites on this one on the 30 pound. And this one had 40, so we switched it to 30. So you got to do what you got to do out here, guys, if you're not getting bites. And think smart. Fine. Oh, fish airing out. They're about to get slammed. Aaron look out. at all the look at all the freaking flyers busting. Oh all my right. god, there is fish just popped off. On what? Just got hit. All right. Middle one. He's gone. Make sure that drag's not locked tight. This one's on. Oh, it was on. Make sure you let it back. Drop it back. There's fish right here at the boat. Why got pulled off? Damn it. They're so, plucking it right off. This really light drag. The drag's gotta be really light. Light the drag you is lost, really light. You just lost a fish on that one too. This one? Yep. Both of them got a he took it. Yeah, this one's right, get a bait right back out. And then I need to get the weight off. There it is. Wait. It's acting like a tuna. You got a fish on that. On what? On your right, right there, right there. Fish on. Fish dolphin, on. dolphin, dolphin, all right, dolphin. Dolphin right. on. Let's get this one up. So, okay, let him, leave, leave him out there. All right, all right. Get, let's get him up. Get the gaff. This drag is nice and light, very light. Get the gaff. This looks a little bigger. It's not much bigger, but bigger. Oh. Is that... All right, let's get this fish. All right. All right, I got him. Let's use a little pricker. Yeah. It's like a five pounder. You got him. Nice job. Woo! It's a nice All right, one. we got another one on over here. You get that one, Chisel. We're just going to leave. That's so funny. You want to get another flat out real quick? Oh, I got two flats out right now. Oh, you do? Nice, chunky black That's bait. a nicer one. That's a real black. That's a real football. Look how pretty. See if there's any more mahi with this guy. I guess not. Literally no, every this, single no, time we get a bite, I see flyers. This one's gone. I'll get it right back out. I got the mahi right here. Gotta... Woo! Five foot jump. <laughs> Woo! Another keeper. Look at nice. that. Back to back collegics. We got to get that uh, tuna blood out here real quick. Yeah. All right. Nice. Nice work. Look yeah. at that. Beauties. Two beauties. Circle Hook doing his job right in the corner of both of their lips. Tuna's been on the boat a while now. I gotta get him bled because it's a sushi fish. All right, we're gonna let them calm down a little. <laughs> you gotta get lines right back out. All right, there's our double header of fish held onto this guy on the side of the boat. You consider this uh, maybe a little bigger than a chicken dolphin or like a flipper. He's a this flipper. This is a size that you flip in the fish, which or flip in the boat, which we didn't do. We didn't want to lose them, but that's a nice chunky black fin. And then um, I told Brian to put another line back out. Well, we had it on and we got another hit. So pretty cool. Nice double header. Now we got four fish in the boat. It's pretty exciting. Exciting. It's too many. Too many. <laughs> what are we going to do? Four fish is too many, guys. We're like the only fishermen that talk like that. Everybody else just is meat eaters. You don't need all these fish. 
Brian says that, but every other fisherman's like, more fish the better. I know, when you come out here every week, you don't need that many fish. We're blessed. We're totally blessed, absolutely. Oh, look at this, sea what? turtle. Oh, wow. Yeah, we got a fish on, I think. Then, all, right. all right, there he is, I feel him now. <laughs> all right, Darcy got a fish on, and within two seconds of resetting. I told you to drop it back really far. Yeah. Tuna is like a low light situation, so usually early in the morning or, or in the evenings, and so, Sun's starting to come up, so Darcy put her weight, put her bait very, very deep. Typically, you wouldn't even expect to catch a tuna this time of day, but you never know. It might not even be a tuna. Yeah, we have no idea. What it might it be is. an Amoco Jack. But now it's turning into a beautiful day, and the wind is laying down. You got I'm bikinis. not so cold anymore. Lucky bikini's out. Yeah, my Marge is colored. Marge's lucky bikini. Bikini, yes. I had to have the hair up, man, in that crazy wind. So when Darcy has her hair up, I call her Marge, like Marge Simpson. He does. She loves it. That's not funny at all. I don't like it or enjoy it. Classic tuna fight. Classic bonita fight. It might be a catfish. Don't be. Oh you never my know. god, catfish. I'll stand out of the way of the camera so that you can see Darcy. No one wants to see me. I've been, I've been editing some videos lately. I want to mention that camera over there puts on like 20 pounds in the middle. Color. Wait. Oh my God, it just broke, baby. He just took the whole 30 feet of line. That was my fault. How is that your fault? This line shouldn't be breaking. I should have held it better here and broke the rope, made sure I broke the rubber band. I take full responsibility. See, we put these on these rubber bands and I, I must not we have held it tight. just broke our main line. I must not have tied it. I mean, main line shouldn't break. No, I mean, that's that what I mean. I mean, like that shouldn't break. This line. Why did that break? That sh I mean, that shouldn't break, no. No. But I also, I don't, maybe I didn't, maybe it wasn't my fault. But whatever, we lost the fish. Four for five. Out over there Which on the one? back. Which line? Right, that one. No, Air it out. This one, top big line? Jump. No, bottom one too. Bottom one too. Baron, big dolphin on, on the flat. Get the flat. I think you got him on the flat. I think you do. I'm not sure. I don't think so. He's on that long line then. He's on that one. All right. Sorry. It's hard to tell. Yeah, he's airing out like crazy. Nice. All right, Look guys. We're going to finish. Woo! All right. So, Brian was re-rigging the rod. That snap we broke off all the tackle on. I was like, I am dropping down this rod even deeper because it's not getting hit. Dropped it down deeper while he was rigging. And I'm literally dropping a bait down right now. And the deep rod went off. And it's a really nice dolphin again, like we got this morning. So pray to God that he stays hooked and uh, we get him to the boat. Should I get that flat up? I don't know. All right. He's coming in good now. I let him run for a little bit. Had the drag pretty out. low. He jumped around a couple times. And we got 30 pound leader, so we don't want it to fray off. So we got to get this guy moving. Whoa. He's let off. Motherfucker. Oh my God. I guess you can't have too much good luck out here. Back-to-back <laughs> -back losses. And that was a really nice dolphin, Aaron out. I got the hook, no, don't you I? Don't. No, no hook. We've never been frayed off by a mahi in our entire lives. That's crazy. Well, we use 30 pounds to get the bites, and that's what happens. Tack it down to get the bites, and sometimes you lose the bite. I am tight. Now he knows he's hooked. And now it's going straight down. That was just the weirdest bite. You can always drive the boat. No, I'm straight up and down and I can't stop them. So you got a grouper or a shark, is that what you're telling me? I can't believe I've broken a 30 pounds. There pound. we go, there we go. All right, yeah. yeah, he's gone. All right. Jesus. Now it's three in a row. All Good. right, are you All set right. or how far are we? Action. How much drag do you have on there? Really not too much. You don't have the clicker on? I guess not. All right, we're just about to wrap it up again. Every time we're about to wrap it up, do something different or move, the line goes off. Yeah. And I saw that rod tip and I was like, wait a second, watch that rod. And it sure enough bent over. You literally can call it like the second before it gets eight. <laughs> All right, hopefully this fish stays glued. Yes, because if you noticed, we went from all stars to kooks. Yup. We caught four fish in a row and then we lost three fish in a row. Let's see what you are. Oh, wait. Going back down. <laughs> what the heck? A little bumpy out Wait, here still. Get ready. See, that's how you break the weight. 
Oh, he's a flipper, no? Yeah, he's a flipper. <laughs> Cutie little flipper there. Woohoo! All right, that's down. a good way to. Oh, I thought that was you. I thought you were getting another fish. Hey, man, I'm, I'm giving my last ditch opportunity to get another fish. These fish are going deeper and deeper as the day progresses. It's really noticeable, and that's why we have these weights deep. But I mean, we let these out one, two hundred, three feet deep. I mean, out, scoped out to get them down deeper in the water column. And it seems like, you know, tuna are low light feeders, so they always say it's best to target them first thing in the morning and late at night in the the, the, the dark hours. But uh, they'll still eat. You just got to get your baits to where they're hanging out. All right, we're gonna bleed this fish real quick. This is how I did every single fish that's in the box. Might as well show them. I know, I am. Oh. Oh, we got another fish on. Right here. Take the, take your bait breaker knife that from fish Smith. Is on. This is on the Amazon store, by the way. And I just raked their gill plates. And he'll bleed out. Do I have Mahi jumping over here? No. See that? You see you guys how I was just dropping that line back down? That's true. Nothing. Got a bite, no fish. Came off right away. Yep. We're already back at our house from a long day of fishing. Even took a nap because we didn't even sleep. I got one hour of sleep last night. All we night. do is complain about how we don't sleep before fishing anymore these days. <laughs> I know we sound like children, but uh, now I'm playing <laughs> with fish again. That's what I do all day long. That's my job. It's a lot of fun. Can't complain. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's two smaller tunas. Those are honestly the smallest tunas I have seen in a long time. Right. <laughs> We've been catching some nice ones. And then a uh, nice little football right there. And then of course we got our gaffer mahi. Yeah, I mean flipper mahi, gaffer mahi. We're all set. Got to get these fish right back. It is so freaking hot down here in South Florida lately. Cover them right back up on the ice. And it's not even the middle of summer yet. So uh, let's get over there. You're gonna have to carry the beers. No right, I can do that. And there's already one on the table. That's probably yours. This is mine. You got the weigh scale, as they say now. Is that what it's called? That's what you say, isn't it? Weigh scale. Oh, what is it called? It's called a scale. Yeah. All right, what do you guys guesstimate? Zero it out. I'm gonna say 10 now. Yeah. So it's not a big fish. I mean, it is a big fish, but they're so freaking skinny. Yeah, they, so never, skinny. they never weigh what you think they're gonna weigh, ever. 15. 15? What it says. Hmm. Nice, all right, well, we all underestimated. Right. Not too shabby. Some fish could've been like 17 with a little water in them, 16 at least. Oh yeah. For Definitely sure. 16. For sure. Oh, nice not too fish. shabby. Not a nice fish. I, I mean, the mahi fishing gets worse and worse around here every year. I'm sorry to like be negative, but it's just true. Um, this is the biggest fish we've caught and put on our boat in like three years now. Really? Yeah. The biggest fish was that 20 pound bull three years ago with Frank. Hmm. Touching on that again, so you know, you're saying that the mahi fishing is not as good as it was, which anybody will admit. And they've also just lowered the limits. I think it's still only five per day or something now. Yeah. Yeah. So it used to be 10. But um, people are complaining about that. Yeah, no, you know, we caught two mahi. This one monster was gonna feed all our neighbors and, and us and three tuna, and so we just went home. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, at 11, 11 o'clock. Yeah. I mean, why stay out? I mean, we love being out there. A little windier. Everybody else was saying it was windier too. Dar sizzle, not just me or us. And, what uh, down here too? Yeah, but the captains were all saying it was windier than they're supposed to be. Well, there's, that looks beautiful like that. This is Finn. So we caught enough fish to eat, and we came home. You know, we got that, a full that, day of fishing. That just makes half day charter. so much larger because it's almost like a sailfish, but not really. Yeah, that looks cool. The back is still green, kind of. Look at all the colors back there. So pretty. Nice. I'm sure he's going to have nothing in his stomach. He jumped all over the place. Yeah. All right. We didn't catch the cow that was with him. And we're going to cut way into his head because these bulls have a lot more head meat than you think. Whoa, way up there. Yeah. Like middle of his right head. Right up to his head. No, up to his nose. I know, but it's like just width-wise, oh. it's like the middle. Yeah. The males always have a much broader head and a lot more head meat. Than yeah, see, now if you would. just come up straight, you're going to miss all that, right? Yes. Exactly. All right, here we go. <laughs> here we go. All right, now we're going to slab them off. This is as fresh as it gets. Fresh as it gets. You just swim in a couple hours ago. Oh. That's where you get them right in the middle. Yeah, we like to gaff them in the middle of our. the pudding here. style gaff. That's the best place to get them in the middle. In the middle. <laughs> Looks nice. Gorgeous. You see, over and around that bone. Everybody's scared of the lefty. They just say that because you're a girl. 
Did you ever cut yourself to sizzle? Yeah. I've never, never you guys ever, does anybody ever do that? I don't think so. Yeah. Did you I ever actually cut did cut myself, but I wasn't wearing a glove and I was cutting up carcasses and bones and stuff. Which, uh, but I haven't caught myself filleting a fish in a while. All right, almost there. Be careful with that sharp knife. That's what they say. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> I would say we like have mixed strips, but I don't have time for that. Yeah, we're going to the Keys right away. Pretty exciting. Yeah. And everything that's left of this fish is gonna be cut up and used as chunks down in the Keys. So we're even gonna use his carcass as bait. Ooh, big slab, look at that thing. Yeah, pretty, look at that. Actually, the gaff kind of looks like it's dead center, which is kind of perfect. No, no, we're it's gonna a find bad, out. big gaff shot. All right, so a lot of you guys <laughs> would go ahead and start ripping meat, ripping skin off right here. I don't like to do that at all, but you can. You actually rip it while you have it on the fish. And it starts to separate pretty good at the head, but then you gotta pull really hard and it leaves this weird membrane from the skin on the meat. It's already starting. Yeah. That white stuff leaves is left behind on the meat. And I just don't like the taste, don't prefer it. Rather take the time and do it the proper way and skin the mahi like you would do 99% of your fish. That's right. All right, here we go. Try to do best I can. You'll be fine. It's a long way to go down. Keep it, keep, keep it moving. Get the head. Woo! Oh my lord, you are a goddess of fishing. And we're gonna cut that red bloodline out. Correct. He did bleed like a pig on the boat because of the way I gaffed him right in the bloodline. But um, there's still blood. This is always blood with kind of mahi. So we're gonna edge that out. And the links to like everything we fished today as well as the knives and the pendants I talked about and everything in the video is gonna be linked down below somewhere. So head down to the description. Right, I'm cooking with pudding here to tell you. Mahi, everyone's favorite. I know, you know, we like some bottom fish better, but mahi is a, is a staple in restaurants around here and everyone wants to love it when they come down, especially the tourists and everything. Yeah. So, you know, you can blacken this mahi. You can grill this mahi. You can put it in the pan like I like to do a lot of times and make one of my famous sauces with this mahi. We're gonna make tacos out of this mahi. Okay, and like we said, we're going to the Keys like in a day or two. Got a lot of packing and planning to do, and videos to make. So I'm not gonna cook it, I'm making tacos. You guys can do that on your own. You can always Google any of my recipes and the cookbook is coming out soon. Correct. And that's, we're gonna wrap it up, Sizzle. Yeah, that's about it, guys. I'm gonna finish up this fish. It's getting dark. Gotta play the other fish too. So we're always working around here. The work never ends. But we appreciate you guys for watching and following our adventures and letting us live our dream. And until our next one, follow your dream and keep, keep on, on catching. catching.